So liberals are all excited about this effort to keep former President Trump off the ballot, including here in Colorado, using the 14th Amendment. It says that you can't run for office if you've been involved in an insurrection. The thing's only been used successfully once in modern times. Politics guy Marshall Zellinger reports on a lawsuit filed today in Denver. The 14th Amendment, ratified in 1868. No one should be deprived of life, liberty, or property. Equal protection. That's Section 1. Section 3 says no person shall hold any office, having previously taken an oath to support the Constitution, if they've engaged in insurrection. I have a little Constitution that sits by my desk where I sit at night. And it's all mar I had it all marked up. So I knew what it was. Former Republican State Senator Norma Anderson is one of six Republican or unaffiliated voters joining a liberal Washington, D.C. group suing to keep former President Trump's name off future ballots in Colorado. January 6th was trying to overtake the government. And it spells it out very clearly. If you do that, that's a no-no. You can't serve. The D.C. group called CREW, Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington, filed the lawsuit using the 14th Amendment to say Trump is disqualified from running for office. One year ago today, CREW, using the 14th Amendment, successfully sued to remove this New Mexico County commissioner after he participated in the January 6th insurrection. The 14th Amendment argument was rejected in a Georgia administrative challenge to try to keep Republican Congresswoman Mar Marjorie Taylor Greene from being eligible to be on a Georgia ballot. Isn't this premature? No, absolutely not. Mario Nicholas is one of the attorneys working on this lawsuit, even though Trump has not yet filed the paperwork or paid the $500 to be on the ballot in Colorado. You can file a lawsuit when the Secretary of State is about to commit um, a, a wrong. And in this case, we think that if the Secretary accepts that paperwork, accepts a filing, that's a wrong. Win or lose, this case will be appealed, and that might be the point. Eventually, we're going to go to the Supreme Court, um, and that will have a domino effect across other states as well. If you don't win and he's on the ballot, are you voting for Donald Trump? Hell no. Pardon me. That wasn't nice. No, I am not. She didn't want me to use that, and I used it anyways. Oh. I asked why doesn't Democratic Secretary of State Jenna Griswold have the power to review someone's eligibility and refuse to put them on a ballot ahead of a lawsuit. All I got as an answer was she is hopeful that this case will provide guidance to election officials on Trump's eligibility as a candidate for office. Non-answer. That's what I say when I get sued. I hope this case will provide guidance. Um, this from the Colorado GOP this afternoon. They said never Trumpers, rhinos, and Democrats are colluding to keep Trump off the ballot. Norma Anderson is a rhino? Well, Dave Williams is already fundraising off of this because that statement was part of a blast email that said they're trying to take away your ability to vote for the candidate that you want. Give us some money so we can fight it. All right, we'll be watching. Marshall, thank you.